everybody. Stacy here. How y'all doing today? It's Wednesday. And uh, I've got this four set up. I've had it set up since last night. And um, I need to do it. I sort of, I don't know. I'm, I got another idea I wanted to do, so um, I was hesitating. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one now and then we'll do the other one that I have in mind. It's just a regular, probably a flip cup um, with some yellow. I've been wanting to do something with yellow. So, um, we just gotta, gotta get this one done and then we'll get to that and who knows what else because I got nothing else to do today but paint. Another big old blob something. Yucky. Get that off there. I don't know why I'm getting these blobs. But at least they're easy to find and get rid of. So that's pretty good. And I got me a rent car, y'all. Um, it's an SUV and it's not bad. Um, it's not my car. It doesn't have a turbo and I miss that. But my officer friends will be happy that I'm slowed down. This is some burnt uh, sienna. Maybe it's burnt number. I can't remember exactly. Um, yeah, I, I have an issue with speed. I think I've told y'all before, but um, I do. And so it's probably better that I don't have a turbo for a few days. I'm still paying off my last ticket. Um, so, yeah, I'm bad. I, my car is really fast, and I... Uh, I can't seem to control it. <laughs> I'm kind of blaming on that. Yes, I am. <laughs> um, that was some copper, obviously. And here's some uh, unbleached titanium. I did not dilute these very much. I did dilute the copper and the gold a little bit because of the mica powder. They're a little thick. And... Um, I have a pink, I have deco art pearl, uh, which I did not, uh, well, I don't know, I didn't delete it, because it comes out of that tube pretty liquid, you know, it's not, not real bad. And, uh, I want to see all my colors, gold did have to be, uh, why is this not turning? <clears throat> Shoot. It's somehow I'll have to handle that in a minute but I don't want my paint migrating in the meantime because the table is still slanted as much as I have tried I can't figure out I may just ask my husband to come in here with a leveler and let him deal with it because I'm really kind of tired of fooling with it it's one of those things that it's not that I can't do it it's just that I'm sick of fooling with it you know what I mean sick of fooling with it And a little more copper. I like copper. Let's see, lots of copper. Okay. And some more pink. Let's get the last of that out. like to waste paint. Alrighty, and the last of the gold, and then we will be ready. Alright, cool. And now our cell activator, which is almost empty, but I think I got enough. I wanted this one to be pretty thick because I like them thicker. Um, but it's um, mostly, oops, kind of messed up there. Um, there. It's two parts um, Floetrol to Amsterdam white paint. Now, 
let me see if I can figure out why this is not turning. Mm. Interesting. There we go. I think I broke it free. Alright, let's try to get that back in the center. Because that seems to be sort of critical, that getting in the center part, you know? The times that I have to have it when it's off center, it just kind of screws the whole thing up. And we're not going to blow this very much. Just a little bit to get it... I just mainly want to blow the cell activator out and then let it come back in. I think that's working better for me, um, just doing it that way. It sells up and maybe I, you know, uh, it just seems to work better that way. Let's see if we can, wish there was some way to like WD-40 that thing or something. But I know it's not moving because of the paint. I guess I could clean it, ugh. No, thank you. Not much on cleaning, um, especially in here. Um, I think I'll just uh, just try to make do. If I had to, I'd get down there and scrape on some of it. But I don't think I'm going to get out any soap and water. I'm not that worried about it. Those are pretty colors. It looks pretty. I just want it to come down to the center again. Give it to plenty of time to do that. That's the stage that everybody wants to rush. Me included. Me always. I get really impatient about everything, and I don't like waiting, but at this point, it's very important. Look at the pretty little cells that are forming. That's what I try to do. That's neat. The last one, I love these rings so much. Why does my face itch every time I get gloves and paint all over me? Then I just wipe it all over the place. I got it on my cheek and my nose just then. It happens every time. Anyway, I left some of these rings on my last one because I thought they were so pretty. I just couldn't seem to get rid of them. That's still got a little hump in the middle. But I'm not waiting too much longer. It's pretty close. Uh, bumpy ride. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Let's go. Got to go a little further than that, baby. I'm not sure why it's all wanting to pull to one side except for that it's tilted. So we just have to keep spinning. I wish it spinned a little faster. That would help us, I think. There we go. That's better. Green. I think I have to spin a little more on mine because um, I don't have a lot of power in that, <laughs> you know, um, but that's pretty. All right, let's see. I'm going to tilt and cover this canvas, and then, um, we'll go from there about the tilting, because I like those little rings that form on the side. I don't necessarily like to get rid of them completely. I think they're pretty. They've got petals on the flower or something to me. This one has more pink in it than the ones I did with these similar colors. And I'm glad I wanted it to be different. I had forgotten I had already done one that's sort of similar to this, but um, it's still different enough that, you know, now that it's done, it's totally different. So, and I knew that would happen. All right, come back to the center now, baby. But I kind of like the little petal looking things that happen if you don't have a good enough spinner. I may push a little bit more off of that one over there. Just to, it's impinging on my petal part. So we'll see. First, I'm going to get this one down here. 
Oh, it takes so long. I'm so impatient. Oh, patience is a virtue I don't have. I like to think I have some other ones, but I don't have that one. I know that. I try to work on it, but it's hard to work on. It's hard to fix. It's a beautiful day outside. And um, I did get my rent car. And like I said, it's an SUV. I drove it to center yesterday. And uh, while it is, a, you know, my car, it's good enough. It's nice to have a car again. I just don't like that feeling of not having a car. You know, not even if I don't have anywhere to go, I don't like to feel like I can't go. You know, I like to be free to be able to go if I want to. And um, I didn't like that. Even though it last, only lasted for a day and a half, I didn't like it. So I'm happy that I got a car and um, I went to the doctor because I was having whiplash and they gave me some uh, steroids and uh, I feel much better today. The steroids are amazing. Um, and Tordol is also a wonderful pain reliever that's non-narcotic. Um, I take narcotics for my back because I have herniated and bulging discs that are really bad. So, um, but I was having a migraine and um, they gave me some Tordol and some steroids and I feel much better. And uh, I'm liking this, this is pretty. Really pretty. It just takes so long for it to, you know, ooze. <laughs> Thank y'all for all the support on my channel. I'm growing and that's what I've been trying to do. I've got some new subscribers, thank you. Um, and uh, new comments from different people. And not that I don't like comments from my regular people because there's some of y'all that have been with me from the very beginning and I really do appreciate you guys. Y'all have hung in there. And um, I just like knowing what people think and um, suggestions are always welcome. You know, if you see something I'm doing you think I could do different that might help me, shoot, shit, yeah, let me know. I'll try it. I, I, I will. That that nice lady told me that she thought I needed more pillow paint, so I've added more pillow paint. She was right. It helped. Um, that comes out of me just, you know, trying to save money because I don't have a lot to spend, you know, Especially these days when I haven't been able to go to the farmer's market and stuff. I've had to cut back on stuff and that's hard. It makes it hard. And um, so I was trying to look for ways to not, you know, especially with these. Because that paint is expensive. That house paint and all that stuff. I know you don't have to buy it as often, but it still is expensive. And um, anyway, I, that's why I was doing that. And... Um, when she pointed that out, I realized it might be hurting my work. So that's when I cut the, you know, the saving money uh, adventures are fine and all until they start interfering with my work. And then I have to do something different. Well, all of the dark brown seems to have disappeared except this corner over here. But, you know, I like it. It's okay. Um, it looks pretty. Very uh, feminine. My mother might like this one. And I'm going to torch that little inside and see if I can get some little cells to come out. Because to me, I think what the torch does to this pouring medium is it makes those little pinprick holes. And that's kind of what I'd like in the center of that white is just some little pinpricks. And so I may torch it when we get, get it centered up right. This is moving so slow. But it is moving. I see it moving. And this is beautiful over here, but it doesn't really match now that I've got the, you know, um, most of the other corners, it's not there. So I don't want to, don't want to have it all off. Plus it stretched the lacing out some by doing all this stretching and I think that's going to make it prettier in the long run. We'll just have to see. Not too much longer. I 
that's good. Now let's just come back. I've been out of GAC 800, and I have not had any crazy that I know of. Uh, I haven't checked today, but so far, I haven't, and that's um, a good thing. I've ordered some more. I got my stimulus check, so I was able to order some more. But um, in the meantime, um, I haven't had any problems uh, that I know of, so I'm happy about that. Gosh, that GAC 800 is expensive. It's like 72 bucks on Amazon. But that gets you a gallon, and I don't use very much of it, so it lasts a good while, you know. That's pretty. I really like this one, y'all. I think it's pretty. I'm just letting it stretch a little bit further down there. I'm going to pull it back up, but I wanted to... Stretch that lacing out a little bit. I'm going to pull it back up just a little bit. see if we torch it if we get some cells coming out of that um, center part most people don't torch these at all but I like to see a little break in the white sometimes if I can see there's some little bitty pinpricks poking up that's what I wanted just a little bit of a break in that let me get y'all down where y'all can see Next time I'm gonna do a yellow one. It's gonna be mostly, it's gonna be yellow. It's gonna be, I don't ever do anything pastel, but it's, this is gonna be as close to pastel as you'll see me get. Um, there's the one from yesterday, it's dried. I had a guy on Facebook tell me it looked like a, a wound, an infected wound. I said, thanks for sharing, dude. Keep it yourself next time. Uh, uh, you gotta ignore people like that. Whatever, it's art. Even if I was going for infected wound, it would still be okay because it's art. <laughs> Even if infected wound was exactly what I wanted. I, and that's what I should have said. Thanks, dude. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I was going for infected wound. Appreciate it. Anyway, whatever. This one is pretty. I like that one, too. I don't give a shit what he says. You know, somebody told me one time, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say anything. And that's the way I operate on here. I see a lot of things that I don't think are um, especially pretty or even some that are pretty terrible. But I don't say anything about it because there's no need to hurt somebody's feelings. Some people are just starting out. Some people are new to this. Some people just make mistakes sometimes. And sometimes you just can't control what's going to come out on there. And sometimes what looks pretty to one person doesn't to another person, and that doesn't mean it's not pretty. It just means that it's not your thing, you know. So, anyway, uh, I just, I, I think it's pitiful when somebody feels the need to say something nasty just because they think that, you know. How self-glorified is that? You know, well, this is my opinion, and I'm going to put it on here, no matter if it hurts somebody's feelings, no matter if it's incorrect, no matter if I don't know a damn thing about what went into that or you know, what their motives were or anything else. I'm just going to write something hateful and whatever. I mean, that's not really hateful, but I did see a post on the Be Epic website where these people are posting pictures of trying to lose weight and somebody said the pictures were fake. Well, who the hell are you to say something like that and to hurt somebody's feelings when they have the courage to get up there and post pictures of themselves, you know, vulnerable and, you know, struggling and losing weight is hard. I've done it. And, 
you know, um, it's wrong. It's just wrong. And I told him he suffered from little man syndrome and he needed to go make himself a group all of his own and deal with his issues. And that's what I think. So, anyway. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I appreciate it when y'all are here. And I do want to hear if, if there's something about my work that, that you think could be better. You have a constructive criticism or something like that. Please let me hear it. I'm all for it. But negativity and being ugly just to be ugly, no thanks. Thanks a lot. But I don't have a problem with that because the people that have left me comments have all been nice uh, on Facebook. I, I, I don't know. I'm, that's the first time I've ever had anybody leave something like that. And I thought it was tacky. Um, it didn't hurt my feelings. It doesn't change my opinion about my work. I'm not going to let somebody like that hurt me. But I just think it's unnecessary. And I think to another person, it might be very hurtful. Um, and I haven't had that problem on YouTube. All of my supporters have been great. So thank you. I appreciate that very much because it's, you know, it's hurtful. Y'all have a wonderful day and join me next time. I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.